Amakanda. Okay, so today is day four of our shutdown. So I've just been working as normal. So I just finished work at five o'clock. And so yeah, one of the things that um, Dachi and I decided to do to make things a bit fun today was um, we decided to try uh, not learn each other's languages, but um, we decided to challenge to see who would understand or be able to pronounce words from our respective languages in our country. So um, a quick backstory, um, I am a South African citizen, but I wasn't born in South Africa. I was born in Zambia. We moved to South Africa when I was two. Moved to Durban and stayed in Durban, I think, for another two years. And then we moved to Queenstown. We moved, obviously, between those two provinces um, growing up. I did Corsa at school, but um, as well as Afrikaans in junior school. But the weird part about Corsa was that um, it was just a bit too hard to spell certain words, as you guys will see soon. And I opted for Afrikaans because um, I did both, but um, it was just easier to do um, orals, mondalum, write, read and write in Afrikaans than it was to do in Tulsa. So as you'll see today, um, we decided basically to <sighs> put down five of our favorite words in our respective languages. So obviously um, Holland only has English and Dutch, whereas in South Africa we've got 11 languages. I do not know all the 11 languages obviously but i do have an understanding of Tosa, zulu afrikaans as well as english so i picked five words which i thought were a mixture of interesting as well as challenging well challenging in the fact that i know how to spell them and what they mean but i chose a sneaky few um, for dachi to try and pronounce i also recruited my friend craig um, who i'm staying with now during the shutdown to try see how he fared um, with pronouncing these words and trying to understand what they mean. She's done the same thing. She sent me five Dutch words. And obviously my goal, as well as her goal, is to read the words, try pronounce them, and also try guess what they mean. So um, I haven't seen what she sent me yet. Um, she hasn't seen what I've sent her yet, and um, we'll take it from there. We didn't pack us if we weren't going back. I'm a kanda. I have no idea what it means. Amaganda. I think you say it like that. Amaganda. Amaganda. I have no clue. Inkavu. Inkavu. <laughs> some things that something it's somewhere in something. Inkavu. Itando. <laughs> Itando. You, you're doing something that's not correct. <laughs> Intlisio, 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 Intlisio means yo. Yeah, this is this is next level. Intlisio. I mean, that's how I think I pronounce it, but you never know. Inkowelmoya. Inkowelmoya. In Kluwa, in Kaya Moya. I have no idea. I really have to think hard because if I don't come up with answers, in Kluwel Moya, something that looks pretty. So, yeah, what I'll do now is obviously go through the list of words that she sent me. Good luck and with solve that. the challenge. So, Good I'll luck. show you what the word is, um, <laughs> think about it, try pronounce it. Think about what it means and then i don't know we'll find out when um we send each other the video and have quite a laugh about it the first dutch word gynecology like i know what it means in english but yeah, i have uh, no idea how you pronounce it I have no idea either. um she sent me her words ha huh, so number one so i would think in dutch it's gynecology or gynecology but um that's obviously gynecology, gynecologist, gynecology. So I would say gynecology. Um, that's my first guess for the first one. The second Dutch word is... Shit. So I know in Afrikaans we say, we pronounce the doubles. So this would be... But from what I've heard in Dutch is they shorten it. So I would say... 
Blake Schreit? Blake Schreit? Um, I have no idea. Blake Schreit. Blake Schreit. Uh, Blake Schreit, blank sheet, maybe? Blank sheet or white piece of paper? Um, that's my guess. Meteorologist. So, I think that is obviously meteor me me uh, meteorologist. Meteorologist. Ah, I can't even say it in English. Meteorologist. Meteor me meteorologist. Meteorologist. Okay. So in Dutch will be meteor meteor meteor. Meteorologist. Meteorologist. <laughs> Meteorologist. Yeah, I can't even say it in English. Meteorologist. Meteorologist. Meteor. Meteorologist. 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 So C H will be pronounced as K. Meteorologist. 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 Autoband vendor. Dopey. <laughs> Oof. So she just sent me long ones. Autobahn ventil dopia. Autobahn ventil ventil dopia. Autobahn ventil dopia. So it'll be autobahn ventil dopia. Autobahn, which is a wheel. Ventil dopia. So I am thinking it's got something to do with uh, the fender of a car. We we'll have in English, so maybe the bumper or the fender um, around a wheel. I don't even know if that's a thing, but yeah, that's the only thing. I know autobahn is a, is, is a wheel, um, but as for the rest of it, I'm guessing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a fake word. So I wasn't expecting that one. So I'm laughing at this last word because I think it's <laughs> a bit unfair. Technical term, and I don't think there's any way I will know how to pronounce this. This long thing. <laughs> Hippopoto. Hippopoto. Monstrosus. Equipped daliophobi. So, Hippopoto monstrosus equipped daliophobi. Hippopoto monstrosus equipped daliophobi. Which I think is a fear of big things. But there's no way that she could spell this by herself. So. That's the annoying part. Not annoying, but the competitive side within me. There, I just know that there's no way that she knows how to spell this without autocorrect. So, yeah, Hippopotam monstrosus sicopdaliophobi. So, if I take a, a summary of these words, Ganakolechi, Blaiskate, Meteorologisk, Utobanfentildopia. Hippopotam monstrosus sicopdaliophobi. I think that's quite a good one. A tongue twister, but it's not so bad. So, gynecology, gynecologist. Blank skate, blank sheet. <laughs> Meteorologist. Uh, meteorologist. Uh, um, I would say tire fender or a bumper. And hippomonstrosis, uh, hippopotam. Uh, that word, um, fear of big things. Um, not too sure what things, but yeah, something big, fear something big. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, no, that was an interesting challenge. Hopefully I don't encounter such words in the Dutch language. Um, I think I'm going to start trying to learn it slowly, just for the future. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, she'll obviously let you know on her side how she fared with the course of words. It's going to be quite interesting. Okay, take care. Bye. We didn't pack if we weren't going back.